Years ago, the demon Trigon conceives his daughter Raven with the human Arella. When Arella discovered his demonic nature, she ran away and was taken in by a group of mystics who lived in another dimension called Azerath. I'm sure I'll be able to pick you out no matter what you're wearing. See you soon. This is a prank. You're screwing with the wrong guy. I'm not! As she grew older, Raven wondered about her father. She attempted to use her powers to learn more about him. Trigon used her probe to find and destroy Arella, along with Azerath and all its inhabitants. Raven managed to imprison Trigon inside a magical crystal in what was left of Azerath. You have other things to fix here. Just stay away from me. Uh, ah! It was a mistake to challenge you this morning without knowing the full capacity of your... Sometime later, she met and joined the Teen Titans. In the present day on Earth, Trigon sends a demonic corruptor to Earth, which briefly possesses Weather Wizard, following a battle between the Justice League and Legion of Doom. Okay. Whatever. Ignoring his father, Batman's instructions beforehand, Damian Wayne helps defeat the Entity, but left the League with no background information from it. As a consequence for his reckless actions, Nightwing takes Damian to join the Titans. He meets Starfire, their leader, Jaime Reyes, a teenager infused with technology that turns into a beetle-like exoskeleton, Garfield Logan, a metahuman with the ability to shapeshift into any animal, and Raven. At first, Damien doesn't get along with them, believing he can be a better leader. When he almost dies in an altercation with Yaimi, Raven uses her power to heal him. They inadvertently bond through this experience. She sees flashes of his life, and he sees Trigon within her. Meanwhile, Batman and Cyborg investigate the earlier attack. Superman is later possessed by one of the entities and brutally damages Atomic Skull, grabbing the attention of Diana and Batman. Before calming him down with kryptonite, Batman learns the entity was after the girl, but Superman escapes before the kryptonite can disable him. Batman requests Cyborg to help him in tracking the girl in question. Elsewhere, the demonic Superman raises a gate somewhere in the desert. Starfire takes the Titans to a carnival in order for them to try and get along. Unbeknownst to the Titans, Raven is called by Trigon's entities, who attack Raven. She fights them off with aid from the Titans. After the attack, Raven explains her backstory to the Titans, who had not learned about it until that moment. When they return to the tower, the Justice League attempts to take Raven with them. Flash, Diana, and Cyborg are possessed by the entities. Batman avoids possession by knocking himself out with a nerve toxin designed to take down Bane. After the League beats the Titans senseless, Raven agrees to go with them to save their lives. But as they teleport away, Yami knocks Cyborg out and frees him from possession. Raven takes the rest to Superman and summons Trigon to Earth. Cyborg awakens and uses his Apocalypsian technology to teleport them to Superman. Damien stabs Superman with Kryptonite, releasing him from his possession, who then heads to release the entity from Flash and Diana. The League stays behind on Earth to battle Trigon, while Cyborg joins the Titans in a venture to Hell to save Raven. Robin confronts and defeats a demon in the form of his deceased grandfather, Raz al Ghul. Raven uses a spell to create a magical prison to detain Tregon and shrinks the crystal down to wear on her forehead. Robin then persuades a reluctant Raven to stay on Earth with the Titans. In a mid credit scene, a mysterious costumed girl riding a flying chunk of rock is seen heading towards the Titans Tower. Alright, that's Justice League vs. Teen Titans recaps. If you like video like this, don't forget to like, share, 
comment, and subscribe this channel. Well, you can take the girl out of hell.